Hi, this is Alekya. In this video, let's see how we can integrate a WebSocket API into our WaveMaker application. So let's begin. Currently, I'm in the employees management application. So let's uh, integrate the API into this employee management project. So we have a dummy web, uh, hosted WebSocket API, which we are going to uh, use it in our project. Oh, I'm going to the web services from the left resource panel click on web services and click on plus icon over there and uh, in the dialog we can see the three options rest soap and web socket i'm selecting the web socket and uh, here in the url give the um, web socket api and click on test so once the connection is successful we receive a toaster called con connection successful and uh, i'm clicking on next now we have the service URL and we have the service name. So WaveMaker by default generates the service name, uh, but it is recommended to change the uh, service name for it. Since we are uh, monitoring the employee heart rate, so I'm naming it as AMP heart rate monitor. And then clicking on import. So socket has been uh, imported successfully. We can see the success toaster as well. And now let's go back to the pages. So before in implementing this, let's see the reference page. This is our employees page. As you can see, uh, this is how we have to implement it. So this is a chart. Uh, for this chart, we have uh, integrated the WebSocket API. As you can see, as the values are uh, keep on changing, so the uh, chart is also responding accordingly. So for doing that, go back to the studio and uh, select the line chart from the widgets, search for the chart and on the canvas, drag and drop it in, into the row, which is below the employee list. I have dragged and dropped it into the bid row and uh, so let's rename the chart. Chart employee heart rate monitor. So, so um, now let's create the variable for the web service which we have imported. So go to the variables, click on new variable. So since it is a web service, click on web service. The web service which we require is employee heart rate monitor. Select it and rename it as And then uh, I'm leaving the owner as page and click on done. So our variable has been successfully created and we can see uh, two tabs. One is properties tab and the other is the events tab. And in the properties tab, we can see the behavior as uh, connect on page load. And uh, in the data set, we can see the select uh, drop down. Uh, as you can see, on new data, we have um, three options we can select. Uh, refresh data set, add as last recording data set, add as first recording data set. So I'm selecting add as last recording the data set and the data limit, I'm uh, leaving it as 20 and then clicking on save. Close the dialog. And uh, in the canvas, select the chart and uh, uh, go from the properties panel, uh, select the data set property and bind it to the variable which we have created now. So I'm binding it to the data set and then click on bind. So in the x-axis, I'm selecting the time. In the y-axis, I'm selecting the value so, and save it. Preview the application. Yeah, um, data has been getting added at the end of the chart. So this is how we can integrate the WebSocket into our WaveMaker application. So that's it for this video. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the series of uh, working with API section. See you in the next series. Bye.